We're in our eighth straight day of major airline flight cancellations. There are already more than 1,000 flights called off today in the United States. And the TSA expect 10 million people to pass through airport screening between now and the end of the day on Monday, sorry, over the uh, weekend. Joining us now to talk uh, about the sector, Ben Baldander, a former Spirit Airlines CEO. He's also the chairman uh, of Six Flags and co-host of the podcast Airline Confidential. Ben, great to see you. Thanks so much for, for joining us. I, uh, we had uh, Robin Hayes on from JetBlue yesterday and, and we're discussing this topic. And I, I just wonder what your take was on the broad question of how understanding passengers are at, at this stage of the pandemic of these sorts of cancellations. It comes at a time when everyone wants to travel and they want to be able to get, get home and see their families or return to work. So it's, it's very frustrating on that level. Uh, but it's also pseudo understanding what's going on. Well, it is pseudo understanding, Wilfred, but it's also is frustrating. Obviously, you can talk about, you know, a thousand or two thousand cancels against millions traveling. And it sounds like in total, it's not that big a number. But if you're the one canceled, you're the one not making your family dinner or your family get together or however you were celebrating the holidays. So any cancellation is going to be extremely frustrating to the people that were scheduled for that flight. I think the key is doing what some airlines are doing, which is proactively canceling in advance when they know that they're not going to have enough people to be able to run the flight. That at least gives customers time to plan other um, travel or to make other arrangements. It's clearly not the best thing, but that's much better than being at the gate waiting to board and then told that your flight is canceled. Well, and what's your view towards uh, the staff, Ben, in terms of whether they should kind of do as they're told if, if uh, airlines want to embrace this new five-day rule rather than the 10-day rule, then then so be it? Or, or have they got a lot of grounds to say, hold on, we're basically saying people can go back to work where they possibly could still be infectious? You know, it's a tough thing for sure there. When the CDC says it takes five days to be safe again, then I don't know why any individual should say, well, I need to isolate longer than that. The real issue or one of the real issues we're dealing with here is that during um, family-oriented holidays like this one we're in right now or coming to an end of now, airlines typically see a lot of sick calls from employees. And now with the um, Omicron variant, there are even more. And so I think if there wasn't the pandemic, we would still be talking about an increased rate of cancellations among airlines because it happens every year at this time, unfortunately. Now, when it's sort of mixed in with the pandemic, and it's also regionally, you've seen sort of, for example, the Northeast be much more affected than other parts. Um, so the airlines that fly heavily in New York have had more cancellations than those that don't. And so I think what's going to happen is in just a few days after New Year's, kids are going to go back to school. Things are going to be a little back to normal. And there's a traditional big dip in the amount of travel that happens after these holidays. And that will give most airlines kind of a breather, if you will, to be able to fly some fewer flights, get people back in shape. And airlines are also in a huge hiring mode right now, hiring lots of people. So being able to bring those people on board, train them properly, and get ready for what will hopefully be a busy spring. That's where the airlines mm -hmm. have to be thinking right now.